hey you guys what's up it's your girl dolly roman and today i'm here to do a what's on my nails but you guys are gonna crack up about this one so um last week okay let me rewind so last time i came to you guys i had the dopest set of nails that i've had in a long time um i thought they were really cute and i the lady who did them she did an awesome job so make a long story short about two weeks ago i called the same nail salon and i made an appointment to get my nails done with her so last week um we got paid an extra day early because usually for holidays we get paid the day before and i decided to get my nails done again so i called and made an appointment um i told them i would be there at 3 30 and that i wanted her to do my nails so i get there um my manager dropped me off so i get there um and i walk in and they're like oh she's not here she had a family emergency i'm like oh okay like so i didn't want to be rude because i still needed my nails done like um i had those nails on for about a month because i got them done the week that i'm supposed to I mean, I got them done the week I went to LIM, and they lasted for three weeks. I just had to change them because, you know. So, I get to the nail shop, and like I said, they said that she wasn't there. She had a family emergency. Her mom was sick. So, I was like, oh, my God. So, like, I didn't know what to do because the other nail shop that's, like, directly, like, not that far from my house, they charge a lot. They even charge you to take your gel polish off. Then there's another two um, nail slides, one right by my job. I wasn't about to walk back towards my job. And there's another one going towards my job. And there's another one across the street. So there's like five different nail salons just like right here. But I'm funny about people doing my nails because for one, I've had these stiletto nails since 2012. Everybody knows that. I'm funny about how they're shaped. If they're not done right, I will make you fix them. And it's not me being a bitch or anything. But you know, when you're used to things being a certain way, that's how you want them done. So make a long story short, like I said, she wasn't there. So the guy who was at the desk, he said, I'll take care of you, no problem. I was like oh okay so I sat out in his chair and I pulled up a picture that I had snapped a uh, screenshot from Instagram and it was of nails that were um, ombre the bottom was black and the top was red I figured it was mood polish anyway so um, he said this is a mood color we don't have mood color so I'm looking at him like, okay, well, there's another way that you can do it since you guys don't have any new colors. Could you still like attempt to do it? He's like, oh, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. So I'm like, I get, I'm getting frustrated instantly because not because like, I don't like when I don't get my way. It's just that for the simple fact, like I feel like all artistic people, like if you do hair, if you do nails, like I'm in school for fashion design, you're a stylist, like you should never say what you can't do. You should always be open to learning. And like, I feel like everybody in like the artistic field or the beauty field always should be learning, 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 learning. Like it, there should never be a time when you could tell somebody, oh, I can't do that. Like, what do you mean you can't do it? You haven't even tried. So I was like, well, um, there is a way you could do it. You could just um, paint the lighter color first and then you could put the black over it and then blend it. And he was like, yeah, yeah, that's how you do it. Right, that's how I could do it. Okay, I'm going to do it that way. So I picked the polish that I wanted. He gets it and he gets the black. So he goes about doing my nails. He does my refill nice, no problem. And then he gets to painting the color. So he puts the burgundy polish on and... First of all, I don't like when I get a refill and then they don't paint my nails all the way down. So it looks like I still need a refill. Like, I think that is so tacky. Like, I hate that. Like, if I'm getting my nails done, it should look like they're brand new. Like, there should be no reason why the polish isn't all the way down. Like, I just didn't like it. So, um, he tried to be like slick with me and I know sometimes like men in business they like to be slick with women because they don't think we're going to say anything back or um they try to walk all over you and I'm just not that type of person so he couldn't really like get to me so he's like um he's like oh well um 
that polish is so pretty I don't even want to put the black on it so I felt like he was trying to cop out so I was like no I still want the black like I'm not you're not gonna change my opinion so everybody in the shop is looking at me like well why what's the problem like why is he not doing your nails the way you want them done I'm trying to explain him he trying to tell me like there's no way to do it so like I wasn't trying to be rude but like at this point like I'm pissed off because if I ask you to do my nails a certain way they need to be done a certain way and like I told you guys I've had these nails since 2012 so like I'm very picky about what I get and I try not to repeat and get the same stuff that I've had already so I showed him a video of how a guy named did it on YouTube and he was like oh okay so then he takes out clear nail polish takes the brush out and then he puts the black on and tried to paint the black on with the clear nail polish thing. And I'm just like, that's not how you do it. And I, I like took the nail polish from the clear nail polish brush and tried to fix it. And it was still wrong. And I told him, could he just take it off? Because it wasn't right. So then I show him the um, picture. I mean, I show him the video. And he's looking at it. And he like, oh, we have a gel brush. I'll try with the gel brush. So... He did it and he only did like one of my nails correct. And the part that pisses me off is because he had the damn nerve to complain about this brush that he used on my nails that supposedly is only for gel or whatever, whatever the case may be. I did not care because I wanted my nails the way I wanted my nails and I wasn't trying to be smart. but. If you're, if somebody is asking you to do something that they're paying for, do it. Like, what is so hard? I do it at my job, so come on. So, uh, he's seen that I was pissed and I was explaining to him, like, I'm not trying to be a bitch to you or anything, but I like my nails a certain way because I've had my nails like this for so long. So he only charged me $30. So as I kept looking at my nails, I just started to grow and hate them because I did not like the way they was done. I don't like how I was treated. So I, f I text the lady who did my nails and asked her when she was coming back to the shop. So she texted me back and she said, hey, sweetheart, I don't work there anymore. I quit two weeks ago. So now i'm already pissed off because my nails were messed up and then on top of that like you lied to me unnecessarily like i hate a liar like i cannot stand a liar like liars they like burn me up and on the inside and like i'm getting mad just talking about it again because like there was no reason for him to lie to me. If she don't work there, she doesn't work there anymore. Like, there's nothing I can do about that. That's not my problem. Like, I don't own the shop. I can't control what goes on there. So, like, why would you sit there and lie to your customers and say that the person that's the most wanted in the shop is on family leave because their mother is sick? Like, why would you wish that type of bad luck on somebody? Like, that is so horrible. And I feel like karma is such a bitch. Like... Karma is going to backfire on them so bad. So I was just talking to her and I was, I sent her pictures of my nails and like she felt so bad. And I was like, it's not your fault because you had nothing to do with it. Like you weren't there instead of them just lying to me. Why they didn't tell me that you didn't work there anymore. So, um, I talked to her for a little bit and she said she wasn't going to be coming back to a shop down here. So that's when I just made the choice to go back to my regular nail tech. And I said all of that to say this. If you have a certain person that is doing something for you, if you got a certain company you order hair from, uh, you get your certain place you get your nails up, a certain hairstylist, you know, stay loyal to your people because this is not the first time this happened to me. You guys know I had this happen with a hair company and, um, like just stay loyal to your people. Like do not branch out and try new stuff like like I mean it's okay to try new things but like as far as hair nails if you even got somebody you always call to do your makeup like just stay loyal to them because people are fraudulent and they don't care about anything but money and that's why money is really the root of all evil because people will do anything to get it like people lie you how do you lie on someone 
just to get money. Like, I don't understand that. So, on Monday morning, I went back to my regular nail tech and I had him do my nails over and I told him the story and he was like, wow, that's crazy. And the only reason why I didn't go to him that day is because he was busy. He had two people and then I didn't go to him last week because we got out of school an extra day early. So it was no point in me going to where my school was and then coming back home and get, like it's too much like that. It's like an hour trip really. So it was like no point. So... I'm just like over it like I'm really just gonna stick to my nail tech because I'm sick of like the BS from these fraudulent businesses like if you're gonna go into business like know how to run your business like I can't stand that and there was like no need to lie so my nail tech did do my nails over I do have mood change and polish um I'll put a video in the um, thing of the color changing but this is how my nails look now um they get like really dark purple and burgundy and I love this color. I think it's so dope. Um, that's what I originally wanted. Um, black into burgundy, like an oxblood ombre is what I'm calling it. And um, I like how he did it once it came out and once he fixed it, I felt better. And like, I'm just gonna stay loyal to him because he's been doing my nails since I was a teenager. And like, I don't care how many people he has, like, he's so creative and like, he always coming up with new stuff. And like, I don't know why I did that to myself. Like, because it is so like, to me it's sometimes it's so hard trying to get up there and I just don't want to be bothered. And I try to stay local as I can, but no, I'm just going to stick to like my, my hairstylist, she's never going anywhere. I'm sticking to him. Even when I go to school in New York, I will come home and let him do my nails. Like, there's no way. Like, I, I'm just at the point where I don't trust people anymore as far as businesses go because, like, the things people are doing out here just for a dollar sign is ridiculous. So, yeah. Like I said, um, I did get my nails done over. Um, you can't really see the color on a certain video. I call in this my oxblood ombre. Um, they do change like to a very dark purple on the tips, and overall the color is burgundy. So when you wash it, water like if you wash your hands in hot water, they turn burgundy. If you wash them in cold, they turn like dark purple. And um, I really like it. Even when I step outside, they turn dark purple. So I really like it. Um, I'm glad I went back and got them fixed, but I will never go to that nail shop again. I swear to God, I don't care. And like my mom called there even yesterday to make an appointment, and they just were telling her like all the people that ever did her nails there left basically and that she didn't come over and they could try to do what she want like my mom's just like me like you're not gonna have ass so it is what it is but um i'll insert pictures and stuff of my nails so you guys can see more but as always comment rate, and subscribe thank you for watching bye